So the first shirt on this list, gentlemen, the linen shirt. Been in men's wardrobes for 35,000 years. You go back and you look in ancient Egypt. Actually, the mummies were buried with linen because when it comes to a fabric, nothing can beat linen when it comes to breathability. And definitely, you should have a linen shirt in your wardrobe. Now, what type of linen shirt? You'll notice I've got a dark colored linen shirt right here. This is the color that I usually gravitate towards. I do have white as well. I think it's a great color and I've got some, you know, an oatmeal right here. And here's a pro tip. When you're grabbing your linen shirts, go with a simple design. So this linen shirt right here, I had custom made. I went for the chest pockets. I had the epaulets on the shoulders, even on the sleeve. I had a little strap, a little fastener there. Guess what? I have only worn this two times. Why? It's a headache to iron. And that is the thing with linen. You got to understand that this is going to wrinkle, but if you're cool with that and you want the most breathable shirt fabric out there, definitely go for this style. In today's video, gents, seven summer shirts that every man should look to buy. Next up, gentlemen, we've got the classic summer check. You're looking for either a poplin or a broadcloth in cotton, or maybe you're looking for a synthetic performance material. There's some great shirt options out there, but what you're looking for here is something that has a nice airy feel and has a very nice drape with a lightweight, breathable fabric. The pattern that you're seeing here is a classic gingham. Now, white is the base and then we have two variations of blue. This is a complex pattern which is great for layering and matching. So I could throw on a v-neck sweater, it would look awesome even if I brought in maybe a maroon. I could layer this with a jacket, maybe bring in a dark green jacket. Another option is a graph check or a tattersall. Again, you want to go with a white base or a light colored base, great for summer. Go with a breathable fabric and very similar to gingham, this particular pattern is easy to layer, it's also easy to wear by itself. Some other patterns to look at, tartan, although mostly you're going to find that in wool and madras. Now, madras comes out of India, comes in a wide variety of very bright combinations, but what I like about this is you can also find it in trousers. Gents, all the shirts you've seen in today's video brought to you by Taylor Shore, the sponsor of today's video, and for years, I've been working with them because when it comes down to the perfect fit, they guarantee it. And I love a company that takes care of people. Whenever you're looking to buy your first custom shirt, design something unique. They make it so easy. Go over and you download a simple app. You take a picture of yourself. You enter your height and your weight. That's all you have to do. That's what I did and I got these perfectly fitted shirts. I got to go in and design yellow, yeah, fancy inside collars, the buttons, everything. I could go in there and design it how I want and I love this. I got exactly what I wanted at an amazing price. And you guys know I used to own a clothier so I'm very particular when it comes to fabrics, when it comes to quality build. I've got over 20 tailor store shirts in my wardrobe that I wear in the vast majority of my videos. Why? Because the fabrics are amazing. The fit is spot on. You know, hey, it doesn't fit the first time. Ask them to remake it. That's why I love this company. Great customer service. They do everything in-house. And of course, guys, I've got you covered. Use that link down in the description. When you use that link, you're going to get the best deal you're ever going to find from Taylor Store. Again, that link is in the description. You've got to use it to get the best deal on your first shirt from Taylor Store. Next up, we've got this simple white shirt with a small accent. So I like to go with simple white dress shirts made from a lightweight material. You're looking for a very lightweight poplin, lightweight broadcloth. And notice right here, I've got these small stylistic details right on the inside of the collar. Now, if you can't find something like that, you may be able to change out the buttons, go for maybe a contrasting button. On these buttons right here, I've got a contrast stitching in there. But what you're looking to do is to do a little bit of a play on this so it's not just that simple white dress shirt, it's one with that small accent which stands out from the crowd. White, what's great about this, it's perfect for summer. It's going to reflect away the heat, the sun. It's not going to absorb that heat and this you can dress it up you can dress it down. Next up, we've got a bold patterned button down. Again, we're going for a lightweight fabric, preferably in 100% cotton, broadcloth, poplin. Now, this bold pattern right here, this is a paisley. It comes out of India. This is something that's definitely going to stand out. And that's what you're looking to do. Have a shirt that's going to help you stand out from the crowd. Another option would be to go with florals, small flowers, or even larger flowers. Another option could be a small repeating dot on a dark colored background. And darks, I'm going to gravitate towards just because I think they have the flexibility to be worn at night, maybe to the club or something like that. Next up, you've got a lightweight chambray. Now, some people confuse this with denim. They're very different. Denim, heavyweight, not breathable. Chambray, the complete opposite. We're talking something that's going to be incredibly breathable, very lightweight. In fact, when you go and you touch this, you're going to be amazed by how soft this fabric is. Now, why is it so soft? It has a bit of a napped surface. It feels great when you wear this out and about during a hot day. 
So the next shirt on our list is a classic summer shirt, and that is the polo shirt. Now, when you think of the polo shirt, you notice this one has a lot more stretch than all the other shirts we've talked about. Why is that? This is a knit. A knit is made from a single long yarn, and this is made to stretch. You're going to usually see two, three, or four buttons. When you see four buttons, it's actually a golf shirt. Three buttons or two buttons are going to be classic polo shirts. Now, polo shirts come in a wide variety of styles, options, and ways to wear them. Most guys are going to wear polo shirts untucked. And when you look at the bottom style of that, that actually facilitates this because it's going to be made shorter and it's going to have a straight bottom. And let's talk about color. This is where you can really liven up your wardrobe. You can bring in really strong colors like a true blue, bring in a bright red, even bring in a yellow. You can bring in pink or you can go for a solid blue or a classic white. Now, when it comes to fabrics, you got tons of options out there. Cotton Peak, though, is going to dominate. You're going to see some performance fabrics out there, and you're even going to see some polos made from wool. I think those are great. They have a really nice drape if you wanted to dress it up. Now, let's talk about the short sleeve button down. This is a great shirt if you've got the body for it. If you're fit, if you've got larger arms, go for it. Normally going to be worn untouched, so you want to make sure it's the right length. And when it comes down to the sleeve length, you don't want it too short, you don't want it too long. So if you've got built, if you've got the guns for it, then you can have it raised up a bit, have it a bit closer in on the sleeves. But if you're really thin, I would recommend you look at a longer sleeve shirt and you just simply roll it up. If you though decide to go with a shorter sleeve button down, make sure that you get it tapered though in on the sleeves. You don't want to have tons of excess fabric there. All right, guys, so what video to watch next? Check out this one, how to be attractive in a dress shirt. I give you 10 simple tips to up your style. And if you want to learn how to build your own custom shirt, I've got you covered with this other video right here, how to build your first online shirt. And I break out the styles of the collars. I go into the cuffs. I go into excruciating detail so you can go out there and build your first custom shirt. No problem.